Hi guys, I'm doing today a little bit of cleaning and restoring of my cookeries. So hopefully I can do this in three parts because there are three cookeries and I got more coming up but I just want to get this thing started because I've been involved in so many projects. I literally running out of time but my aim over here is to post one video per week. So sorry if I haven't posted anything lately. But hopefully this one, since the day is nice and I'm outside doing a little bit of soaking a little bit of sun and trying to do a little bit of video. So I would definitely start with the first one, which is the World War One battalion issue type cookery. Why don't you ever model for me, Mrs. Kensington? You know how Mr. Kensington feels about that. Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, finally finish this cookery, cleaning this one and restoring this one. But caps looks like this now. And finally, the cookery is done. I left a little bit of marking. This is not rust, it's like an old ace with the metal i left a little bit of these on the blade i could have gone into my buffing machine and clean it and do a mirror fitness but it would be disrespectful for this cookery which has survived since the first world war so to show it is and everything i'm not going to redo or refurbish the handle uh i already reconditioned it with the oil so that should be well enough and i will keep on taking care of this blade honor to have this blade in my collection this is here you go fox first world war battalion issue cookery and I'm pretty much happy with how it cleaned up and how it came up with all those signs and everything. Very happy. Very happy. Thanks for tuning in. The next part would be doing this one and finally coming to the BSI Mark V. This one definitely need to work as soon as possible because I can see the red rust going around. I've been really, really, really busy. So I've managed to finish this one now. The next step would be this. So hopefully I can manage some time by tomorrow and clean this one up. And thanks for tuning in. And please like, share and subscribe so that I can bring you more of 
these kind of historical cookery 